and welcome Capricorns. I'm Capricorn Sun, so totally feeling you on these energies going on. This is going to be a reading for the next 48. Today is August 3rd, 2020, and we are under the full moon in Aquarius, freedom of expression. And we also have Saturn reversed in our sign in Capricorn, which means that there are definitely restrictions in terms of finances and in terms of like father wound things of that nature, uh, but it for ironically for Capricorns and we a lot of us are getting kind of a boost during this time, especially financially. So, whichever energy you get, go ahead and, and ride it. There's karma. Saturn has to do with karma, and we often are the ones that end up understanding it in a way that others don't always grasp. So, let's look at ooh, coming right out there. All right, let me turn on a light because we're, there we go, starting to get dark here. All right, so what do we got? We have the four of pentacles, upright, <laughs> boundaries and holding on to your money, and the hierophant and upright, which suggests that either you're waiting on somebody who has been stuck in, um, some sort of arrangement. It could be business arrangement. It could be spiritual karmic cycle. It could be a relationship, a marriage, something that they thought was going to be higher commitment, but it's not, and it's not turned out very well. And this is also the Aquarius energy. So from that full moon, either you or they are feeling a rebelliousness. You don't want to deal with the traditions and norms, and it has something to do with either you protecting your money or them protecting their money. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups, which means somebody is feeling remorseful that they kicked over some of their cups that they could have held on to. I'm kind of getting the sense, uh, Capricorn, that this is somebody who is upset that they did not take your cup, that maybe you offered them some cups and an easier way to go about things, and, and, and especially in emotional learning, and they're learning the hard way, which unfortunately I know fellow Capricorns understand that one. We are often the types to tell somebody directly what will make their manifestations happen and be so much easier or to warn them and say hey you may not want to do that and they don't always listen until they've learned the hard way and on the top of the deck we have the ace of swords the truth right which is a double-edged sword in the middle of the deck we have the eight of swords in reverse somebody's been stuck in a nightmare situation and they are let's see what it has to do with yeah the nightmare that has to do with ten of cups that emotional fulfillment, they're ready to break free from it, to express themselves, uh, and they're ready for some kind of re reunion. You probably are too. They're done with some sort of third party situation and taking advice from people in uh, lower level vibrations or who are not very spiritually connected. They may have been being advised by um, an earth sign of some kind, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's been in a lower vibration, could, in, you know, sun, moon, rising, check all those placements. Either way, it's knocked their ego down quite a bit, or it's knocked yours down, and you're recognizing there, there, there's some sort of feminine character in there, or somebody's been in toxic feminine energy, and it's been holding back a victory probably for you and for them and king of cups is showing up here under the chariot card which suggests to me that you and you have probably been sitting there in a more mature energy just kind of holding your tongue and biding your time and letting them learn what they need to learn which is kind of a blessing and a curse of being a capricorn but yeah they're they're recognizing and you're probably already seen yeah, that what they thought was going to be their legacy building is not. And they're ready to tell you about it, but they're afraid. <laughs> yeah, look, the Queen of Swords right on top of the Devil, which is which is our card on there. They're afraid that if they tell you that, that you're going to cut them a new hole <laughs> and, and be smug about it. So if somebody comes your way with this, just be understanding. We all learn at our own pace and our own time, and small steps are still steps. On top of that, think about how you'd like to be treated. I mean, it's not like we have just were born, uh, you know, popped out of the womb and knew what to do. We know what to do because we've made these mistakes, and because we're born under Saturn, we often have to do things the slow, hard way for a long time until at least our first Saturn's return, more so than a lot of other signs do. But... What I'm getting the sense of, though, is that the 
whoever this is is likely recognizing that about you, and that'll be really nice to be recognized for. Um, that's that six of wands too can also be uh, recognition of some kind. The advice that I've got for us Capricorns is the Queen of Cups in upright, and the Two of Wands in upright. So, especially tonight with this full moon, think about what it is that you want to manifest, especially when it has to do either with accessing your inner feminine, or if this is a feminine that you would like to be in access with, think about that. Think about the positive emotions, the positive things, the mother wounds that you've healed, especially anything since uh, October of 2019. And then... You, you might be waiting a little bit for some communication, or it might be a little bit slow, but recognize that what you've been working on, especially if you have been working on good intentions and releasing karmic cycles, it's going to be good, and it's going to be probably way better than even you had expectations of, especially if you've been working on releasing expectations. That being said, because we have extra emphasis with Saturn and with karma, if you've been in lower vibrational energy or you've been tit for tat or you've not been focusing at least on trying to be in a higher vibration, well, it might bite you in the ass in the next 48 hours. So we'll see. I mean, karma doesn't discriminate, so <laughs> uh, please feel free to reach out for a personal reading if you would like to. If not, then... Um, Please check out the other videos for your other placements, and I'll get back on as Spirit calls me in to do more readings.